Tucson International tells us the major winter storm affecting much of the country is also causing delays at our airport. Nine on your side's Andrew Christensen spoke with a few travelers. He joins us now live. Andrew, how is air travel looking tonight at TIA? Yeah, Pat, so if you take a look at the departures, all of them are actually on time. Now, a little earlier today, around 6, there were about two that were delayed. Now, it's a much different story when it comes to the arrivals. About 10 of them are delayed, two of them being canceled, one from Denver, another one from Chicago. Now, if you take a look around, there's not that many people right now, but it was a much different story. A little earlier, there was definitely a lot of people here, and um, I spoke with a few of those people, and they tell me that it could be frustrating to deal with the flight delays. It's supposed to be the most wonderful time of the year. But both departing flights. I'm going to McAllen, Texas right now. Going back to Rochester, Minnesota. And arrivals. Frankfurt from Germany to Denver, Denver to Tucson. All getting delayed. Five hours. It's about three hours. My original flight was 440. Now it's pushed back to 550. And that comes with some emotions. I'm a little bit annoyed. <laughs> kind of mixed in a way. We wouldn't mind it being totally delayed because then we could have stayed here. It's, the weather's awesome here. Some people are just left in limbo. The flights out of LA coming from Aspen might be delayed, so we don't know yet if we'll get out tonight. And others have a quick turnaround. I'll be right back tomorrow. Uh, my wife says if I'm not back by Christmas Eve, I'm going to be in big trouble. Delayed flights also affecting family members who are picking up their loved ones. I have to go find some place to to hang out for five hours. Officials with the Tucson International Airport say they're expecting about 210,000 people to be traveling this week and next week. They say that's about a 25% increase from last year to this year. As for how many people are arriving here in Tucson, airport officials say over 100,000 say the week of Christmas and the week of New Year are the busiest out of the entire year. So I traveled through Christmas time in 2020, 2021, 22. Um, yeah, there is usually a lot of delays. Um, the worst is when you get stuck. But some people say it's not as bad as other years. It is quieter, I think. I mean, Tucson is really not very busy. And all those waiting around, just hoping time goes by a little faster. Hopefully, knock on wood, uh, looking forward to getting home. Now, airport officials tell me that tomorrow's actually going to be the busiest day out of the next two weeks. They also tell me that's why it's important to arrive here early. Now, I spoke with one passenger. He tells me that he uses the app on the airline flight. He says that's what makes it easier so that way he can skip the lines and make it the process a little faster. Reporting at Tucson International Airport, Andrew Christensen, KEGA 9 on your side.